All right, how is everybody doing? I am going to record a short um, video tutorial that is for the Amazon Fire Stick and how to use the Terrarium TV. Um, it is slightly different <clears throat> than the Android box. Uh, the video that I made in the past was for the Android box. I have not done a fire stick in several months, so um, being that I just updated this one, I am going to do a quick run through <clears throat> on how to um, navigate through the TV shows, series, and the movies for Terrarium TV. This icon is Terrarium TV. You simply click onto it. <clears throat> when it loads, it will automatically load into the trending TV series. Um, if you notice up here, you can actually change by highlighting the down arrow by your favorites or trending, you know, so on and so forth. I'm not going to read them all off. You can see them. Uh, but it automatically loads into what's trending. Um, if you are watching, uh, I don't know, we'll just say, Okay, Walking Dead. I know a lot of people watch Walking Dead, so we'll use it. As you can see, as you scroll over, it highlights to a grayish blue color. So that's how you know where you're at with the marker. When you click on the Walking Dead, or whatever series, it will bring you to the overview synopsis. This line here represents where your cursor is. When you press over, you want to go to seasons click on season it will bring up all the seasons for walking dead if you're just starting the series because everybody's been talking about it you've never watched it you will go to season one as i said you can see how it's highlighted different shade you click onto it <clears throat> it will bring up each episode season one episode one season one episode two season one episode three so on and so forth as I said before, the underline represents where you are. So it's showing that you are highlighted on episode one. You would go over to the play button, click onto it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been down with the flu for the last four or five days, just starting to get over it finally. So still got the congestion. Uh, usually takes anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds to load up um, the uh, uploaders. <clears throat> like I said, I usually give it about 30 seconds, 45 seconds sometimes. Usually what I do, this is just me personally, whenever I get to this stage here, you know, if I'm watching a movie, TV show, whatever, I'll get to this point, I'll go in there get me a plate of food, get me something to drink, bag, you know, pop me a bag of popcorn, whatever I'm going to do, get ready for the movie. By the time I get back, everything's loaded up and start at the top. You're going to go to the top one, simply click onto it. The top choices are usually your best choices. When you click onto it, it's going to ask you what you want to do. All you want to do is simply play it. You don't want to put any subtitles on it, not unless it's Spanish. If you're watching Narcos or uh, El Chapo, something like that, and you want to, you know, it's going to be in Spanish and they don't have subtitles. Usually they do, though, because when they play it on, you know, the, the server that it's from, they already put subtitles on it. But if you want to play it with subtitles, there's your choice. You shouldn't have to ever download anything. shouldn't have to copy anything all you have to do is click play 
when you click play, it's going to tell you that it's going to start in just a minute. It's getting kind of windy. Might have to shut the door. It usually takes anywhere between, I don't know, 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds to start gathering all the information. And then it will start playing. And that is as simple as that. Uh, with your Fire Stick remote, you're going to use your arrow button. You're going to hit back. Give it a few seconds. You'll hit back again. Give it a few seconds. Now, when you're going from series to series to series, you don't actually have to go back past this one. You can go up and go over to this little arrow here. That's play next se uh, season, or uh, I'm sorry, next episode. So right here, you're at series one, or season one, episode one. If you click that, it's gonna automatically go to episode two. So you don't have to go all the way back out. It's gonna go through the same process, 25, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever. It'll start loading. You click play. It's ready to go. Pretty simple. Um, I'm going to hit back. <clears throat> I'm going to hit back again. And it will remember, once you complete the entire episode, it will actually remember... That you've watched that episode and it will when you go back into it at a later date it will have underlined the episodes that you've already watched all right uh, one thing I do like about the terrarium TV is the see also option they do not have this in Cody you can click that and it gives you similar episodes so you can literally go from one I'm, I'll take it back, not episodes, series, similar series. So you can literally go from one series to another series to another series to another series. And, you know, just whatever. Uh, go from series to series. <clears throat> that simple. While I have you here, I'll show you. Say, for instance, now there's some of the, most of these will probably be in that trending section already, but if you don't want to scroll down four, five, six, you know, levels or whatever, we'll just say, for instance, uh, I don't know, we'll use um, True Detective. True Detective is probably not in the trending now. When you go over and you highlight, and then you press and hold, the center button for about three to four seconds, it comes up add to favorites. When you add to favorites and then you back out to the main screen and you go up and over to the left to your menu button. When you click on the menu button, you go down to favorites. You click on the favorites, right? There's your true detectives that you just added. You can do that for TV shows and for movies. I think it keeps getting out of focus because my finger's coming up on the lens. Yeah. Anyways, you get the point. If you don't want True Detectives, if you got, I mean, I've, I've got probably 40 or 50 loaded in my favorites just for quick access. If you want to get rid of it, you simply click and hold it again. Then you remove it from favorites. That simple. So that is your TV section. When you click on the menu and you go down to movies, same thing. It's going to automatically load under the most popular. If you want to change it, you go to the arrow. What's in the theaters, new HD releases, top rated, and then all the different categories. You, um, stand up, 4K, I mean, whatever. Um, 
This one's a little more simple. Um, all you have to do is whatever you want to watch, you know, whatever you want to watch, you know, kids are want to watch Zootopia, you click on Zootopia. It's going to take you into the overview automatically. All you have to do is go over to the play button, click play. This is where it's going to start loading all your, your streams. <clears throat> like I said, 25, 30 seconds, 45 maybe. I do know that the longer you let it load, the better quality you get. Because it usually starts off with a high quality, which is basically like your standard TV. Then you'll start seeing uh, HD. If you wait another 8, 10, 15 seconds or whatever, you'll start seeing like um, you know 720. Then you'll start seeing 1080. Sometimes you'll get 1080. Sometimes you won't. They're trying to start loading more 1080. But as you see, whenever um, I click onto it, that the HD is pretty pretty clear. I mean, it's 1080p. Um, I do know that the Google video, where it says Google video, the uh, fast server right there, like the either one like the, where it says fast server those are good choices uh stream mango is pretty good but if you can try to stick to where it says google videos those are the best quality the best stream very 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 seldom do it uh do you have any troubles with the buffering all right so it's been loading for about 45 seconds to a minute now so we'll click on to the to the first one we're going to click play this video will be started in a moment <clears throat> and as you can see it's in perfectly clear HD quality uh, I got my sound bar turned to my phone While you're in a movie, if you want to pause it, you just hit the center button and pause it. You can fast forward it a little bit, fast forward a lot. Uh, kind of works like a DVD player. Um, unpause it. Um, if you just want to fast forward, like while the movie's going, just hit the hit the button. It does it about uh, about 10 seconds every time you click it. You click it four or five times real fast, it goes a couple minutes backwards, same thing. Um, if you press up, I'll just get the movie back started. Press up, it's got a volume control down. You wanna go, you know, say the, you missed something and press it a lot it'll take a second to catch back up there we go yeah sometimes if you press it up you know real fast it kind of you're kind of overlapping the uh, as you see down here you can kind of see where it has already loaded and where it's actually playing so Sometimes you want to just take it easy and let it go and let it do its thing. So I may have went too fast, kind of froze it up a little bit. But anyways, uh, I think you get the gist of it. It's pretty simple, um, pretty easy to navigate through. Uh, the movies are the same way. I mean, if you come across movies, oh, let me show you how to search movies. Yep. You can search movies. 
don't know how my tripod keeps getting off center. There we go. All right. Um, we're going to go back. And up here, you'll see the magnifying glass. That is your search. Uh, if you want to search a movie. Uh-oh. Actually, no, you went too far. I went to the star, which is the, also the favorites. And if I want to search something, um, I don't know. I don't know why, but Forrest Gump just come to my mind. You start typing in. Usually, you only have to put a few letters in. And it will usually pop up uh, suggestions. Oh, it's gonna make a liar out of me. Now I know when I use on my Android box, uh, I use my my mini keyboard, so I can actually use the keyboard to type with. That's another reason I like the Android box better than um, the Fire Stick. Because with this, you have to do everything. One click at a time. Alright, so like I said, you got Forrest Gump popped up. Now if you don't want to search Forrest Gump every single time, you want to press and hold, add it to your favorites, you can. Or whatever. But you can pretty much search almost any movie, any TV show out there. And... That is the simplicity of Terrarium TV. It has pretty much taken over Cody because of its simplicity. You don't have five or six or seven or 15 different uh, uploaders you know, to, to search through. It's all categorized into one. You got, you know, very, very simple. You know, you have movies and TV shows. Pretty simple. You shouldn't ever have to, you know, go into settings and change anything. Um, you don't, shouldn't ever have to download anything. Like I said, everything's all at your disposal. Um, you will come across times every three, four, five weeks, maybe six weeks, something like that. You'll get um, a notice that says uh, update available. Very simple update. All you have to do is whenever it says update available, click OK or yes. It'll go through the process. It'll tell you what to do. Just all you have to do is follow the prompts on the screen. Very simple. But that is how you navigate through Terrarium TV for TV shows and movies on the Amazon Fire Stick. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like the page.